Hey guys, how you doing? This is Guan Yu 007, also known as Mr. Misogyny because fuck those bitches over there. How are you guys doing? I am doing pretty good right now. Um, I'm here to give my review for what I like and what I don't like in the beta of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta, which they gave us uh, quite some time. Of course, you know the background, you're seeing it roll out as we speak um now my review for this is not a standing review and by that i mean that this review depending on how the game comes out does not hold water to the final review of the game so basically i'm just critiquing what i see in the beta itself and no i'm not critiquing it like somebody would say critique warframe which is always going to be an infinite beta because fuck they want to make more money and they're cheap and they don't want to fucking finalize the game but i digress so here we go as you probably noticed in most of my videos the preset i'm using is the war machine build for the bombarder and i particularly do like the war machine build for Bombarder again. I, I like the war machine, um, and how they implemented it in Black Ops 2. And I believe they actually had it in Modern Warfare 2, or was that 3? I believe it was 3. So I've always thought that you know, mass destruction beats out defense, so that's why I geared my player for was mass destruction, and it seems to work out quite a bit. But now, here are some of the pros and cons to it. The pros, of course, new Black Ops, and it is by Treyarch, which is still under Activision, but is also separate from High Moon um, and Infinity Ward, Raven Studios, and whatnot. So, it plays like Black Ops 2. Now, as I say, it plays like Black Ops 2, meaning that it takes multiple shots for a headshot, and, you know, it literally, you have to bullet holes people all the time. With that being said, I would like to say that it's a welcome change that they toned down the jumping mechanic that was in Advanced Warfare. I believe the jumping mechanic was just way too easy to to use and to get away from certain bullets. I believe, you know, bullet damage and impact and bump mapping. I believe that was just, it, it's fun. I could say the, the jumping mechanic is fun in Advanced Warfare, but for Black Ops 3, I believe they got it, the tone just right. You can jump, but you can't triple dipple super jump three changes over and then see if the guy followed you at that point in time you know you can't just literally you can't play basketball in the damn game that's what that's what we're going to call it, advanced warfare's evasion mechanic it's basically basketball so from what it looks like they focused on a small booster pack like a jet pack in the, on your back and you're able to wall run and this is all explained because you're part cybernetic in an army that has not been disclosed because this is a multiplayer beta and not a story beta anyway so like i said i like the bombarder um there are two classes for each of the protagonists that are in the multiplayer beta so there's the war machine bombarder and then there's the armor bombarder i've tried the armor bombarder and i'm particularly myself don't like it so i stuck with the war machine bombarder and i was having a blast with it um i believe that the the way they have the ranks of the guns itself it shows progression as you progress, the guns get better. Um, I had no problem with that, but I also seen that certain guns are 
of course this is a baby so they're gonna take a look at that anyway but so certain guns are just way too good like way too overpowered especially for a Treyarch game at some point in time I thought I was playing Modern Warfare 2 so yeah but at certain points in time there are um, certain submachine guns that literally just spill bullets at such a rapid succession we have uh, light machine guns that are pinpoint accurate to the point where headshots are given and then we have assault rifles that are in that middle space but it's funny when an assault rifle can get outdid by a submachine gun, but a light machine gun can outdo both classes, and a shotgun is just a power punch to the face. So, with that being said, I can say that the guns are sort of scaled, and I, I would like to see more tweaking with the guns coming in the future. That is it when I decide to game fly the game. I'm not buying it. I want to see what it turns out to be first, and then we can go ahead and move on to the next step. If there is going to be a next step, of course. So, now that I got the guns out of the way, the environment. Now, Treyarch is known for giving you good, envi good environments from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. But Black Ops 3's, the maps they gave us felt so well rounded that they literally take a virtual shit on every map in advanced warfare i mean literally virtual dump shot deuce cleveland steamer this is amazing as it seems like they really put time and effort shrinking the map, uh, looking at the corridor, seeing how things are, and I can actually tell that this is going to shape up to be, well, at least the maps they gave us, those maps are going to shape up to be some of the best maps that you'll see in the in this Call of Duty, which... People are already dubbing this to be the next call of, the next next gen Call of Duty, and I can't say nothing about that yet. Like I said, no final product. I can't make a verdict of that. However, I'm hoping it does. And then we come to the new features, which is of course swimming. And wall running. Now, swimming was in advanced warfare, but was rarely used because there wasn't really any areas that you can truly use swimming at. But you can swim and shoot underwater, which is amazing because I didn't think they would put that in you know, as a part of the mechanic. But shooting, knifing underwater, and so someone and so forth, tossing grenades underwater as they explode, that is. That's pretty good. I, I didn't think that they were going to do that, and I will happily say I had fun shooting, knifing, and tossing grenades in the water and watching people die in and out of the water. Seriously, it's it's fun as hell, and if you d didn't get to play the beta, once the game comes out, you'll know what I'm talking about if they didn't nerf that mechanic. Losing Charlie. So yeah, that's pretty much my review for the Black Ops 3 beta. I mean, aside from it being a beta, I can't hold anything against glitches. I can't hold anything against um, people finding spots in the game to hide. And I can't hold anything against graphical errors that might have occurred. Because, again, it is a beta and they're not done with the game, per se. Uh, the stress test they did with the final build, or excuse me, the final part of the beta, 
seem to have gone well for Sony, so we'll see exactly what happens with uh, PC and Microsoft when it happens. So I'll probably just update this and let you guys know. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the Black Ops 3 beta, and I will see you guys later. This is Guan Yu 007 signing out, and cheers. Tango down. Tango down. <laughs>